So robotics and surgery has been an incredible revolution, but one that's been very slow, actually. It's interesting. The first robots that came out were, that were used in surgery were kind of tried in different, by different fields, including general surgery. When robots first came out, they were very good at looking in one direction and doing surgery, but they weren't very good at moving around and looking at things that move in the, in the abdomen, like the intestine. So they were adopted by urologists because for the prostate surgery, for removal of the prostate, you really want to be careful not to injure any of the nerves because the nerves control functionality. And so it was very important for them, and it was very good because a robot gives you 3D vision, whereas when we're doing minimally invasive surgery with chopsticks, it's like 2D vision. You really have to sort of guess where your hands are. It's harder to do. So now a new robot came out about, I would say, 10 years ago, and that robot actually has four arms, and it's much more mobile, and a table came out that works with the robot so you can change the patient's position while it's attached to the robot. And that makes general surgery much more feasible with a robot. And so now we can take the colon out with a robot. We can take parts of the small intestine out. We can take part of the pancreas. We can take the spleen. We can operate on the stomach, which is what I primarily do, using the robot. We also have learned to... Re pair the abdominal wall and hernias using the robot, which is how I started training on the robot, was by doing hernias. Because hernias are a fairly straightforward procedure, and it's hard to injure anything. I mean, there are nerves you have to be careful of, but you can see them so well with a robot, it's easy to do a really good job.